Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm reconnecting with our ancestors today. A real re reconnect. Um, we're going to a prehistoric structure which I was last at in 2018 for a fleeting visit. Come here, my friend Paul, we're walking the North Downs Way along part of the Pilgrim's Way as well. And I've always wanted to visit this place properly. Um, it's part of the Medway Megaliths, which you're going to see a couple of others today. And we're going to Coldrum Long Barrow. Oh, lovely view. That's the North Downs Way up there, the Pilgrim's Way and North Downs Way. With fantastic views over the Medway. Constant roar of the, the M20, is it? Nearby the M20. Constant roar of that, but what can you do? Yep, here we are, Coldrum Long Barrow, one of the oldest prehistoric structures in the country. This place is almost 6,000 years old, 6,000 years old. It predates Stonehenge, predates Avebury, predates the West Kennet Long Barrow. Because ancient man, they came over into England, into Kent, this is where they would have first settled before going more into land. Um, and down to sort of the uh, Wiltshire area. But amazing, amazing place. I'm already feeling a, some real strong energy here. No one here, which is lovely. Let's have a look around. Cauldron Stone Circle has been vested in the National Trust as a member to Benjamin Harrison of Item 1926, Van Gogh Park. As we well know, it's actually not a stone circle, it's a burial chamber. Because in the Medway megaliths, they're all sort of barrows and burial chambers, but no actual places of worship, like at Avebury or Stonehenge, if that's what they were used for, of course. It wasn't a stone circle. But the, the commanding view is, is, is incredible, right down to the Medway. I mean, it's a bit washed out today. Um, but the weather's lovely, it's uh, quite mild and um, blue sky, especially heavy rain this afternoon, but I'd have been gone by then, so yeah, lovely, look at that. It's bringing back memories from um, four years ago when me and Paul walked in the North Downs Way as well, so yeah. So that would have been the original entrance, I would imagine, which has been blocked over, of course. Um, let's climb over and have a little look. So here we go, yeah. This is the Medway Megalith. I've seen most of these before when we were doing the North Downs Way. You've got Kitts Coty House, the Coffin Stone, Little Kitts Coty, the Lower Whitehall Stone, the Smithy Megalith, Neolithic House, but we're right over the other side uh, on the west. Uh, we're Cauldron. We're going to go to the Chestnuts and Addington to see the... Um, remains there as well and a pub lunch of course of course at the Angel Inn I'm going to try not to fall ass over tit with the camera oh it's very slippy very slippy it was excavated between 1910 and 1922 and there was about 22 bodies found and they think there was two phases of burials here so it must be important chieftains um, and that kind of thing. East to west axis as well. I'd we'll love to have a little look up there, but I keep falling down the bank. <laughs> it's so steep and slippery because it's been raining uh, last night. Mm -hmm. 
So I imagine the entrance goes under this stone here and getting into it that way, go quite high up. Put these megaliths here in place. Nice little trinket there. There's a lot of pagan worship here. And we're going to look at the, the rag tree in a minute. A lot of pagan worship. It's an incredible place, so real, real incredible place. This is already one of my favourite prehistoric sites. I've only been here once before. Wow. And before I go hippie-ish, but yeah, the energy is quite, quite strong here. They say it's on a earth energy current, which I can well believe. I have bought my dowels in rods, so I might see that in a minute. It's very hard to film in dowels at the same time. So I might have to dowels and then tell you the results. When Paul and I were doing the North Downs when we came here, it was absolutely chucking it down with rain. And uh, we did get a rainbow at the end though. I'll quickly uh, insert that footage here. Excited now, we're going to uh, Cauldron Lungbarrow, a place I've wanted to see all my life and I've never been here before, so. As predicted, just peeing it down. But I think it's only a heavy shower as it's in the weather, so I hope it'll pass very soon. There it is, Cauldron Lungbarrow. And it's absolutely chucking it down. I really want you to see this properly. It's not raining, a little bit of a rainbow coming up. I don't know if you can quite see it. Probably not, it's a bit too faint at the moment. So, here we go. I'll show you Kit's County House. Ancient monument. Well preserved dolmen here in Kent. On the Medway stones. And I've never been here before, much like our stone circles. And I'm so pleased to finally see it. So, uh, yeah. So we're in Boxley Warren Local Nature Reserve and actually where the high speed rail channel tunnel link was built they found uh, an old uh, Neolithic longhouse and dated back to 4000 BC so it's um, one of the earliest well dated Neolithic structures in the country. It's very interesting. And also on the route here is the Whitehall Stone. Very well known ancient stone Part of a barrow. I love all these. All the rags on the rag trees. A lot of uh, either pagan worship or memories of loved ones. This looks so fantastic. You get this at Avebury a lot. Um, my friend Neil was telling me about this when we did Avebury back in the summer. And um, especially at Swallowhead Spring. Yeah, Cauldron Lungbarrow. I like these uh, kill stones that are layered around the perimeter of the barrow. The tractor. There's a farm nearby. Oh, yeah. Imagine this on the summer solstice. I understand Mar Morris men come up and do, um, or Morris persons come up and do, uh, got to say, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Morris men come up and do um, a dance here on uh, May Day, which is fantastic. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna look on camera. I'm just going to try and see if I can just douse some of the energy here, if there is any. Um, I'll say it out loud, I normally say it in my mind, but if it crosses there is, if it goes out it's not. Is there an earth energy current that goes through this site? Is there an earth energy current that goes through this site please? Yes. See? Yes. Do that again. Is there an earth energy current that flows through the cauldron long barrow? Is there an earth energy current that flows through? Yes. To see where we can pick out which way it comes from. Can you track? Can you show me the flow of energy, please? Can you show me the flow of energy? Where the flow of energy comes from? Right there. Sorry, it's going off camera there. So it's going up towards the field. And can you show me the flow of energy towards the main entrance? The main entrance energy flow. 
we go. Coming up through the, 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 main, the main entrance there. So there you are, a little trip to the Coldrum Long Barrow here in Kent near Trockersliff. Trotterslif, pronounced that completely wrong. Trotterslif, I think it is, it's, yeah. Don't attend that mark. But it's a really magical place if you can get, it's very easy to find. There's a car park for like 10 cars just outside. Uh, and it's, so it's about a 10 minute walk. Well, it wasn't for me, it's about five minutes because I'm a fast walker. Um, yeah, it's nice to be back here again after four years. And I will return. I'd like to come here on the summer solstice or um, in the summer because that view is, is spectacular which you, is probably lost on camera because it's a bit overcast today blue sky keeps popping out but as we're here and as we're looking at the medway megaliths let's go down to look at the addington wrong long barrow the addington long barrow just had a little bit of rain um which is fine it's going to rain it says it's heavy rain this afternoon so Hopefully we can get everything done before then. The, it's past the cyclist, and the uh, and the ground is so muddy. I don't know how they get traction on the mud. But I'm no experienced cyclist, so what do I know? Hello. Oof. Do excuse me. I know it's, ne it's nearly December, but it's hot. Oh, that's better. Really hot. Oh. I think that was almost like a bucket list, Cauldron Long Barrow. Really pleased I, I went there. Um, I had a proper look. No one there. No one there at all, which was great. Not that everybody shouldn't be able to enjoy it, of course they should. Sounds terribly selfish. But it is nice to sort of, you know, off camera as well, just have a little bit of reconnection with your ancestors. Right, let's go down the road to Addington. So here we are at the Addington Stones. Here was a uh, burial mound with a road cutting through it now. It's actually on private land, unfortunately, so uh, we can't see it. It's in a real state of repair, real state of repair. And just over beyond those trees is the chestnuts, also part of the um, megaliths around this area. That's also on private land. That's actually quite well preserved. It's such a shame. Why are they on private land? Why can't they open them up for people to visit? See, there's another stone here. You know, see, they're 6,000 years old. 6,000 years old. So some of the earliest prehistoric structures in the country. Absolutely extraordinary. So, yeah, so you can see the, some of the um, stones in this field. One over there, here, and here. Very, absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I'll have to look what they look like in their, in their heyday. As we're here in Addington, we thought I'd have a look at St Margaret's Church in Addington, which I think is going to be locked. We're not going to have a look around St Margaret's, St. Margaret's Church in Addington because it's locked.
This church was built in 1403, 1403, and it is locked so we can't go inside, which is a shame. Massive monument here. Oh yes, this is what I was looking for. This monument is for um, William Locker, who instructed um, Lord Nelson and his skills. He's like his mentor of Lord Nelson. That incredible. Okay, oh, trying to dodge the rain. It's okay, it's not too bad. Um, perhaps we can't get in the church. You've seen the uh, memorial to uh, Sir uh, William Locker, who tutored Lord Nelson. So what we can do now is go down to the Angel Inn pub for a good old pub lunch. Someone did actually say in the comments recently, I can't remember who it was, sorry, said, um, all this is just an excuse to have a pub lunch. It's not, I love it going out exploring, um, especially in lovely days like this. Well, apart from the rain, it's quite mild. Um, it's nice to wrap it off with a nice pub lunch because I only eat pretty much once a day because I do fasting, as I've said before. Um, so yeah, let's go down to the Angel Inn and have some grub. So what a lovely meal at the Angel Inn in Addington in Kent. Really delicious. I had a chicken uh, ham pie, if you're asking. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video. A day where I've reconnected with my ancestors. Coldrum Lungbarrow. I'm really drawn to that place, like I am to Avebury. So um, I'm rather impressed. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff you do on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care.